Okay, hey everybody, we're going to be looking at question uh, number seven. And seven was actually four different things. So I'm actually going to be talking about the first thing that you did. Now, the first thing you did was that you saw this happen. You said, okay, I have a, a stick uh, that's going into the water, but when I look from above, it does this for some reason. And, and now we're saying, okay, well, what does that mean? What What's going on? So in order to do that, um, I think the easiest thing to do would be to recreate what has happened from the beginning. So we'll, we're going to back up and we're going to pretend now that um, nothing has happened. That we've just put a stick in the water. Here's my stick. And I'm going to have uh, an eyeball. Uh, my eyeball is going to be looking down at the water. Let's just say there's my eyeball looking into the water. And what's going to be going on? Well, uh, the first thing that's going to be happening there is uh, the light is going to be leaving uh, the, I guess, bouncing off the end of my pencil and going up. Now, when it does that, it's going to hit the boundary between the water and the air, which means it's going from a more optically dense to a less dense place. And when it does that, I have to very quickly think of a few things. First, I have to draw my normal. Remember, always draw your normal. Always draw that. And I know that that means that this is my incident angle, which means if it's going out of the water, it is speeding up. It's going faster. So therefore, my angle of refraction, if you look at your notes, you realize my angle of refraction must be bigger than my incident angle, which means it's going to get bigger. This kind of works out really well for me. So in other words, this angle right here is going to be my refracted angle, and my incident angle uh, is smaller than my refracted angle if my incident, my incident index is greater than my refracted index. In other words, the, uh, this would be my air, and this would be the water. I have to remember these rules, or else I'm going to have a lot of trouble answering these questions. Okay, so, okay, that's nice. So then what does my eye see? Well, well, my eye is thinking that, well, for one thing, my eye has no idea that the light is bending. It, it does not think ever that the light is bending. In fact, your eye is getting completely fooled and misunderstanding what is happening. So the, the eye just thinks that it's the light ray is going straight, which means it's going straight like this. Goes on along this line. But where does it see the tip? Now, if you remember when we did this, we did this when we were talking about the fish in the water. I have to take my end here and go straight up, parallel to my normal. So I'm going up, and then I go, oh, right there. I find, I have found, here, I'm going to get my yellow again. I found where the tip of this pencil is going to be seen. This is where I think it is when I'm looking there. So when I draw that, let me see, if I draw that, what I'm going to see is basically this. Not that, not that thin though. Let me see. I'll draw that a little thicker there. I'm going to see this. So that's actually what I see. Not a nice, beautiful, straight line. In fact, all of this, see, all of this is going to go away. So I'm not even going to, I'm not going to see this anymore. I would just simply see, see. That's what I would see. A bent stick. So that explains the problem. That explains how to solve it. Remember what you're doing. You're, you, the best idea for all of these is to draw the picture. Notice how as soon as I draw the picture and I go, okay, wait a minute, what do I know? I know refraction. I know reflection. I know lenses. I know mirrors. And I know types of mirrors and lenses. So I have to know what happens when the light passes through it because then I can solve my problem. So right here, uh, this takes care of that problem. The question is, can you do the other three? Uh, I hope you can. They're very important that you can do them. Uh, they're, they're kind of the summation of the entire chapter. So if you can do those other three questions, you're going to be, uh, you're going to do okay 
for the next uh, couple of quizzes and tests. But it means that you can re really understand what is happening here. Uh, so, if there are any more questions, uh, let me know. Otherwise, I'm going to take these uh, videos and post them on Edmodo for you to uh, take a look at. All right. Thanks.